We're here with Liz Allen, the director of uh, Ramona and Beezus. And uh, your favorite library, what, where's your favorite library, Liz? My absolute favorite library is Emma S. Clark Library um, in Stony Brook, New York, because it's the first library where I really got to go on my own and spend you know, hours there in the stacks, you know, finding books that spoke to me. And it really kind of empowered me as a young kid and also inspired me. Great. Uh, oh, and then my second favorite is my family moved around a lot, like we've moved to different countries, and so uh, my mom was able to finagle us passes when we lived in Germany onto uh, the army base, the American army base, Patch Barracks. And um, the, so I was able to get on the, the base once a week. And because I felt a little bit like a foreigner, you know, I didn't speak the language very well and I felt kind of alone. Every week I just like clung to those books and we got to know the librarians and we would, you know, be referred like to great books and it was like how I felt in touch still with the American culture and how I felt I didn't feel lonely because of those books and I would stay up every night like after school just reading till like two in the morning with a flashlight under my covers because it was a great way to get through the experience. And Liz, working with Beverly Cleary to bring her books to uh, to the screen, um, can you give us some insight? Well, Beverly herself obviously was a librarian, and that's why she became a writer, is because she loved books. Um, she grew to so fond of books at, later in life because when she was really young, she had trouble reading, and um, it was only when she found, there were a couple of specific books that she found where she finally was able to do it and really related to the characters. And then as an adult, like, she was working as a librarian because of her love of books, but kids would come in and ask for ideas of what to read, and she had trouble referring them to things that would feel identifiable to the kids. So, you know, specifically boys, actually. And so that's when she was inspired to write Henry Huggins, and um, she, uh, that was her first manuscript that she read, and she was able to get that published in the 50s, you know, which is... Uh, it was a time when it was difficult as a woman to get, you know, projects published. And so for her, I mean, she was just such a role model for women all over the country and, and librarians, you know. So it was great to get a chance to work with her. She would call me and you know, leave messages on my voicemail, and I would save them because it was like, hello, it's Beverly Cleary calling, and, you know, you, you want to save that for the rest of your life. Um, and she was great at guiding us through, like, what the characters would do in certain situations, and she was always helping us to be true to the initial intent she had for the characters. 